Hello and welcome back to Project 6014, Urquo Masters Project 6014. Last time we finished up the mining and we are now on our way to uh, to the um, the scout areas, the patrol areas that where the Shvixty have gone missing. Um, and we, we dropped off the Shemur Prime. Um, I will say that in the last episode I did realise that um, it turns out that I couldn't actually hand in my minerals. I didn't realise, you can still see my minerals there. I just didn't know what to do with them, so I just kept going. I had to sell one of the Yehat ships, um, which is unfortunate, but I wasn't really doing too much with it anyway, so it wasn't a huge loss. Um, so I really should have stopped off at maybe the uh, the Earth Star base with Commander Hayes, because um, that's the closest one where I can actually go and change up some things. Maybe I should have stopped off at the Vuck Star base as well, because I think there you can you can buy some stuff and things like that. Um, so maybe we should have done that, but whatever. We're fine, we've got a good amount of fuel, we've got a Shamur ship, that's all we really care about. Um, and we're just cruising through hyperspace on our way to um, Patrol Area 3. The first one we're going to go to. So hopefully we can find something there. Maybe there's a few Korra to ice, um, but if there are not, then we can just move on to the next one. Um, we're going to make sure though, we're going to make sure if the Shafixty is still alive, then we can save them, maybe take them with us in our fleet. Um, so that'd be good. Oh, there's a ship on the minimap there. I think that might just be a Vux ship, the ship though, because it's being very, very slow. Um, because we're passing close-ish to Vux space right now. I don't know where the Micon have gone either. I swear that they were around the um, Vux and the Yehat, but I haven't actually seen anything from them yet. Uh, maybe they're just not in this game. So nothing there. Didn't look like it anyway. Um, it's a very scarce region of space. Doesn't seem to be really much here. Uh, probably just like sit around in the middle for a bit. Nothing comes then, I guess. There's nothing to see. I don't know how recently the um, the patrols went out and how long it's been since they've they've come back. Unless they told us and I can't remember. Um, but it would uh, it would be weird for. Um, them to tell us to go. Ooh, oh, hang on, there's some ships coming in fast, three of them. Let's see what this is. What is this? It's unfriendly. What is it going to be? Oh, it's a Korra. Okay, let's take them down. Let's go. That's what they said last time, it didn't quite happen. Our alliance is crushing you, yeah, the wrath. Oh yeah, of course, we already know about that. Um, oh yeah, what happened to the Dinyari talking pet in the corner? Oh, so they just killed them all. Okay, I wonder if the Urquan did that as well. We haven't met an Urquan yet. Maybe they did that the same. But surely they're non-sentient, so they wouldn't have been a threat. So I don't understand that, really. Um, but we're crushing you, so what the hell do you think you're doing, to be honest? Really? Is that true? That can't be good. Tell us now. What are you talking about? Well, the old Kazerza did say they never lie, so maybe he's telling the truth about this. Maybe there is something wrong. I mean, it did seem the Shemur were being a bit strange, but I highly doubt that they're actually the bad guys. I. I mean, they destroyed, basically destroyed the Sarmatra, so they can't be against, they can't be with the Korra, so I'm just going to uh, Okay, so let's just, I mean, I'm fighting them right now, I'm taking them down, and there we go. He's down. I lost two crew, four crew. So there we go, end, end of the game. We're done. Easy. So it can't be the Shemur. I, I can't think of uh, any race that could be, really. The Yehat, maybe? I mean, they were they didn't like the way the Shamur were, were acting. Who else? The Spathy seemed a little bit strange. The I guess the Oars as well. Yes, I guess there are a few races that are a little bit, you know, that could could be seen as being a little bit shifty. 
the oars especially, I mean, look what happened over at Valpaculi. I mean, that was just a little bit strange, wasn't it? I don't know if they actually count as our... I mean, they do. They do, They are in the Alliance of Free Stars, I guess, actually. They were one of the first races that were part of the Alliance of Free Stars. Um, but, you know, they, they they were pretty much crucial to me being any good at... You know, they were they were, had really good ships, so I'm happy that they joined us. Um, and it's good they got rid of the Andresynth as well. Um, so I guess that's what the Korra talks about, is the is the oars, the different side to the oars. I can't think of anyone else who would be um, who would be any, any who'd be bad at all, so I don't know. I can't I can't imagine that maybe maybe it's the um, No, I can't I was gonna say maybe the Slylandra as well, but just because they're in Korra ships, but I don't think that I don't think that makes any sense really. Um, okay, well there we go, nothing at patrol two really, so we'll just move on. Uh, over to patrol number one. And this is the big one because this is the one which collides or is intersecting with the crash uh, radius um, from the, Shem the Shemur found. Uh, so this will be interesting. Maybe there'll be actually something here, uh, like a, like an actual uh, energy source of a planet or something. So we'll go and see. It'll be interesting to go and see. Um, so yeah, let's go and see what happens. I'm thinking that there will be an energy source of planet. That's normally what happens when there's something that I need to find um, so I might want to ch actually check on some of the planet's surface this time since we don't really have any information about what planet it's on like we normally have had like the Sirene telling us where their ships are and the Aralu telling us where the warp pod is stuff like that we don't have any real um, precise information so we're gonna have to check a couple of the planets um, but for now I might as well just sit around and see if there's any enemies in the vicinity um, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to start looking at some of these stars. So I might as well make my way over to that star actually um, now and see if anything pops up in hyperspace on my way there. Doesn't look like it, does it really? Let's just go through here. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What the hell? It's leaving. I'm going to save the game. That looks really weird. That's not a cor that's not an Urquan. What the hell? Go away! Oh no, it got away. What the hell was that? That was so weird. It didn't look like any ship I've ever seen in the game before. That must be a new race. I, no, I can't think of any other ship. Maybe... Maybe it was that um, ship that we saw in Aralu space earlier. That was really weird. That must be a new race. And that's probably what the Shafixti found, is that they didn't know about that race, and they've been destroyed by them. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, this is not good. Okay, I'm checking these planets because I just know that there's going to be something here. There is so going to be something bad here, I can just tell. I'm going to check all these. Looking for an energy signature. Because that definitely was new. I've never seen that ship before. Um, it's like when you see the Ironclad for the first time in Treasure Planet Battle at Procyon. It's like that. You've never seen it before. That was crazy. Oh my god, that was really scary. Actually, I didn't know. I didn't. I thought it was going to come at me, but I was just a little bit too far away. If I had entered the planet from like a different angle, if it was going at a different speed, it was a little bit slower. It wasn't very quick. It wasn't very quick. It was quite. It was slowish. It was medium paced. Just a little bit slower. I might have been able to ca get its attention or catch up with it, and I could have seen what the hell it was. I can guess it's hostile. It looked pretty hostile. It didn't look like a a nice ship. It was pretty. Uh, um, it looked very sort of not Urquani, but it lo it looked um, it looked sort of like uh, a race that would be hostile in some way. Um, I can't really explain. I can't even really remember. It was sort of like a sort of orangey brown ship with like tentacles. It was like a bit green as well. It was really weird. It was very strange. Anyway, um, I'm just going to. Uh, give up some of these uh, base metals for uh, some uh, nice gold since we might as well um, do this because you know more minerals are always good so let's just uh, go down here drop onto the planet and get some gold everyone loves gold and as uh, you know since we're here we might as well collect it um, you know we're, we're going down planets for a actual reason but if we do encounter some nice minerals like gold then obviously we want to go and collect it um, so there we go. It does also, I, I think, also in, in uh, Project 614, unlike Star Control 2, Urquimaster's HD, 
if you drive over some minerals and you can't pick all of it up, in the old in uh, Okot Masters, uh, it left behind the, the stuff that you can pick up. In this, it doesn't seem like that happens. Don't know if that's intentional or, or not, but um, I, that, it just seems like you know I'm, I'm collecting like piles of 16, 17, and then I come to a pile of four. It just happens to be exactly four that I need. So I'm guessing that um, that it's destroying the stuff that I don't pick up if I if I run out of cargo space. That's another thing as well. I can't. Um, I, you would have thought that they would have uh, at least saved some of the plans for the better landers um, from the original uh, flagship. You would have thought they would have saved the um, all the protection, all of the, the faster speeds, the better firing speeds, better cargo storage, the plans from the Mel Norme. But for some reason they just haven't, and I don't understand why. Still don't really get how the Mel Norme got the plans for those anyway, to be honest. I mean, they're a precursor design, I'm assuming, because we had one in the beginning. Um, so how the Mel Norme would have, um, how they would have even got the information for that uh, for that design. So whatever, it doesn't look like there's anything there. I went a little bit out of the crash range there. Um, we've already been to Beta Noas. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Bessel systems. To be honest, I want to go. I, I'm really worried about that Beta Noas thing though because there was a ship there that I've never seen before. So the Noah star system is the one I'm thinking is the difficult, is the d dangerous one. So I want to keep checking that, and hopefully the next time I enter the star system, I will encounter that ship that I saw. Oh, maybe this is it here. Okay, here we go, guys. Will it be it? Here we go. 